Welcome back to my channel. Kamusta na mga kaadig? Thank you for visiting again my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you simple, easy, and safe modification procedure of my Eaton electric scooter handbar. This modification will apply to any electric scooter that has 25.4 mm fork steer tube. Tools you will be needing Hakso, sandpaper, Allen wrench, and a needle file. Alright, let's start! First, you need to remove all the accessories from the handlebar so that you will get better access while cutting or sewing the handlebar off from the fork steer tube. Once it's clear, grab your hacksaw. Make sure the hacksaw is sharp to make it easy for you to cut off or sew the handlebar. First, make a score or line using the hacksaw before cutting the handlebar thoroughly. The line will be your guide to achieve balance or race after sewing the handlebar. After I cut the handlebar, the area where I sawed was a little bit sharp. I grabbed my needle file and started working on the sharp area until it became even and smooth. I use half round needle file to reach the inner side of the fork steer tube. And to finalize the cutting procedure, I used sandpaper to make it even more smoother. Since the fork steer tube is small, I use a shim so that the stem will fit tight and snug. The shim is a little bit big and loose onto the fork steer tube. What I did is that I took the other shim and cut one fourth portion from it.
placed a small piece between the steer tube and the shim to fill the gap to make it fit properly and snug. Next was the stem, make sure to align it and place it properly without overlapping. Stem and the end open side of the fork steer tube should be even to get a clean installation. Next was the handlebar. Before installing, put all the accessories onto the handlebar. Once done, install the handlebar onto the stem. Get the preferred angle, make it balance, and tighten up all the screws. Next was aligning the handlebar and the front wheel. Once you're done, tighten up all the screws on the stem. Since there is an open side of the fork steer tube from where I cut it off or from where I cut off the handlebar, I provided a bar plug and I inserted the bar plug into the open part of the steer tube to cover it so that it will look clean and neat. Next, I tighten up all the accessories on the handlebar. To fully modify the handlebar, I provided a pair of handle grip. What I really like about this handle grip is that it has two aluminum ring locks on both sides that securely locks the handle grip on the handlebar and the handle grip provides soft and comfortable grip as well. Next was the brake lever cover. I provided a pair of rubber lever cover. Since the brake lever cover is short, what I did is, I cut the end side of the rubber cover to make an opening from both sides. I slided on the cover to the brake lever until the lever sticks out. The main purpose of the cover is to give you a soft and comfortable touch whenever you pull the lever. Wire management was next. I zip ties the wires and I even provided wire cover as well to make it organized and clean. finalize the wire management, I used the hook and loop strap to fasten the wire onto the fork steer tube. And that's it! I'm done modifying the handlebar. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have learned something. 
you got some ideas, techniques, how to modify your electric scooter handlebar. And please don't forget to support my channel by liking, commenting, and sharing all my videos. And of course, stay safe and good vibes always. At syempre mga kaadik, maraming maraming salamat at muli kayong naligaw sa channel ko. Thank you.